How would you define a religious movement? Well, I would define a religious movement as any individual or group of people that get together to define how they should worship or give allegiance to God and they define a whole group of their own belief systems and structures. In other words, they're all man-made belief systems and structures that define how they should worship God. I feel quite strongly that uh, the majority of religions on, on the planet have done this. They have, they have gotten a group of philosophies together based upon their previous experience and, and also different emotional belief systems that they've already had before then. And then they've constructed an entire set of belief structures uh, that they feel God wants them to worship uh, as. And uh, then they just go ahead and engage that particular belief structure, oftentimes for the rest of their lives, and try to enforce it upon other people mm -hmm. as well. Um, obviously, I do not feel uh, that religion on the planet at this point in time has anything to do with God's viewpoint of what should be done. I feel it's mostly a viewpoint of what man feels should be done or groups of men and women feel should be done rather than actually listening to God. How, how does God want to be worshipped if God even wants to be worshipped? I feel the biggest problem that we have on earth with regard to religion is that we're not interested in how God wants to be worshipped. We're not interested in what God feels about any of these matters. We're only interested in our own philosophies about what we believe God is and what we believe God should be and what we believe God should do and what we believe God, how God should act and what we believe we should act with each other and what we believe is bad and what we believe is good. And this then forms religious practice. And I feel that's a deep error that we have in our society about religion. So just to clarify, you feel that all religious um, movements on the planet are based around man-made ideals? Yes, and pretty much all religious movements on the planet. Even the movement based upon after myself, the Christian movement, is is well, it has nothing or very little to do with what I actually did teach in the first century. And if you look at, if you actually compare what the Bible actually says a religious or a Christian religious practice is compared to what Christian religions are actually doing, you'll see there's quite a large discrepancy between both of those particular things. And a lot of it is based around, unfortunately, based around what mankind wants to do rather than what God believes mankind needs to do or should perhaps do, not that God believes mankind should do anything. You see, I feel a lot of the times uh, religion is all about control and manipulation. It's a way of controlling masses of people into a different, into a belief system that, that feels safe and secure or that feels uh, meets a lot of their needs. Um, but, but unfortunately is not very heavily based around truth. What we need is a way of life that is based around truth, and that's not a religion. That is going to be a way of life based around truth only, and this includes scientific truth. It includes all truth, not just selective truth, Things that we, uh, books that we believe in because we believe they're God's word, for example, um, but that demonstrate themselves to be illogical um, is not a way, is not a great way of basing a, a, a formal practice that, on which we base our entire life. Mm. 